Okay, here is the video that I promised my students a couple of weeks ago who were in my class and we didn't actually have time to work on this peacock very much together. So, as promised, here is a video walkthrough. And most of this is on time lapse, but I tell you what I'm doing as I'm going through here and sometimes my words might outrun the video a little bit and but I try to get it as close as I can but let's get started okay get your peacock out and of course you've got to have your colored pencils I'm using the Prismacolor Premier like I let y'all use in class for those who didn't have any that color that I'm using right there is that PC 933 okay you can see everywhere I'm going and I try to use the same color in a bunch of places so you won't have to pick up your color pencils so much I think I had y'all do you know the orange circle while we were there that day this is inside of that okay you know kind of make an upside down heart and now I'm down in its back and that's still I'm still using that 933 okay I'm sharpening up my pencil and I'm probably using medium pressure okay now I'm using that 903 and I started down here on the top of those feathers and as you're coloring put medium pressure and make short straight lines with medium pressure on the top of it where your white where that white line is that's on your paper now you can see me I'm making the short little strokes like that across its head too but I know that looks like a, a light green but that is that's that color PC 903 y'all um, true blue in the Prismacolor and as I get to the center of that peacock's neck I start using circles and cross uh, cross hatch a little bit and it looks lighter because I didn't have my lights on and I'm sitting next to my window. So it's a lot of natural light. And as you can see, I'm still using that same color. That's 903. Probably about medium pressure. Now you've seen that little shape right there. Do that on every one of those feathers. Again, that is inside that orange circle. Okay, there I am up in the plume. Or not the plume. That muffin thing, whatever that is. Okay. I'm sharpening my pencil. There's my little bitty white pencil. Okay. Now, lightly. See where I'm at? I'm just very, very lightly doing that with that white right there. Now, as I'm going across right there, I'm making short strokes with medium pressure. Then I repicked up that uh, blue, that 933, and I didn't like the way I had it right there, so I adjusted it. Medium pressure around the eyes. Very lightly. About lightly. <laughs> right through there, you see, I'm kind of making little circles very lightly. And going over where I just was at a few minutes ago, just to give it a little bit of lighter highlight and then if you get it too white whatever section you're in I just went back over it with that 903 because I got it a little lighter than what I wanted to 
I put some highlights up in that muffin thing on top of its head. I don't know what that's called. Okay, I put just a pinch of highlight in those feathers. And there I picked up that 933 again. Okay, um, that must be the black. Uh, no, that's that 933. I just sharpened it again. No, 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 I take that back. That was that, bl that black. That's 935. See, I'm trying to take out, I'm just putting some shading in. And it, that black paper is really forgiven, but as you will see, I never erased anything. If I make a mistake, I just kind of try to cover it. Okay, now I'm in the eye. The top part of the eye is color 945 on the top part, right there. Okay, now underneath, 946. Okay, and then I get the black and I circle it in right there and kind of go around the outer edge black to darken it up and then put just a pinch very lightly of white and you've seen where I've done that and at any time if you need to slow it down or pause it and you do it that's fine okay and I just picked up that 932 pencil um, that's like a it's called violet I love that color and it's a little bit purple it's hard to see it there but I just went through that piece and I put some of that blue in there. It's very pretty, or I mean that purple, excuse me. It's very pretty. And just to be honest with you, it's showing up really, really light right now. But in reality, that picture is not that light. But for those of you who are watching this, who have that piece of paper that I gave y'all that had that peacock pattern on there and that black paper, you can see when you're marking on there that your picture is not going to be this light. It's just that natural sunlight coming in the window. And I had y'all do this in class, but now that's that orange pencil and it's 918 and I went around just a touch around the outside. Very, very, very small, short, uh, quick strokes. All the way around. You know, kind of, don't make it, don't make it a perfect circle. Give it the short little strokes and feather it, you know, a little bit. That was probably medium pressure. It doesn't take a lot of pressure with that orange color. Okay, now there's that 930. Yeah, I got that 932, which is the purple, and I went around the outside just a little bit of the orange. Okay, then I picked up the dark blue, which was that 933, and went around that. You can see how I'm going around there. Then I picked up that lightest one, that 903. Ooh, and I kind of hid the camera there a little bit. Sorry about that. But I go around the entire out edge and see how I'm making it look like feathers. So let it go where it will. I'm probably using medium pressure. If you can't get that white transfer line covered up with light pressure, just put medium pressure with that 903 on top of it and that white uh, transfer paper mark will disappear. Keep putting more pressure until you can get it to disappear. Now don't get up into your beak right with those two feathers right there. But see, uh, I'm using the short, you know, choppy strokes but I'm leaving the edges like feathers. Now I went in here just a little bit and added some more to it and it probably to be honest with you y'all it probably wouldn't hurt y'all to watch the video first and then go back and re-watch it and pause it where you need to now that's the black and I kind of just very very gently went around areas where I thought it needed the darkest shade I picked back up that 933 now see on your paper y'all I think y'all have got the white line right there but see what I did I got that 933 and I'm just making lightly light to medium pressure 
see how I'm feathering. Just sprig it everywhere. Just try to make it go the same way that the top of the peacock feather is going. Okay? So I went all over it first with 933. See how I'm doing there? Just let your pencil go how it wants to. Medium pressure. Okay, then I got the 932, which is that purple, and I done the same thing, not on top of those feathers I just went on, but, you know, kind of close. If you get it on top of it, it doesn't matter, but like I said, let them go. Let your pencil lead you. It looks more natural that way. Okay, then I got the 903. And I done it with the 903. And like I said, um, that's a whole lot lighter on camera than what it is in reality. And like I said, for those who's got that black paper, you'll you'll know what I mean when you start working on that. And I got the black again, and I'm going. Okay, no, I've got the white now. Very, very lightly and gently go in and put you a few highlights with that white very lightly up that stem and then I put just a few sprigs of that white just very lightly just a few okay and then I even picked up that 903 pencil after that and kind of went back over it just those white marks I made just a little bit to kind of hide that stark white okay now if you don't have one of those uh, that's 909. I take that back. I put a just a touch of green in a few places. And you can see I just touch and go, touch and go. And you don't have to do that if you don't want to. I just did. And it blends in real nice. Just in a few places. If you put some in the feathers, you need to kind of put a little bit in the neck. Make it flow. There's that gold pen. If you don't can't find those gold gel pens, um, you can use a gold metallic color pencil. But I just, and there I am with the blending tool and those who are in my class know what I've got on there with it, but I'm not going to tell anybody else. <laughs> you know my secret. <laughs> you are the only ones who know my secrets. Okay, now i done a little bit of blending to kind of smooth out some of those edges that I didn't like. Now i got that gold jelly pen, or gel pen, whatever it's called, and I just put a few sprigs of that, y'all. Just a very few, you know. It's very, very pretty in reality, but it's kind of hard to see on that camera. Okay, but just a few, just a few, and you don't have to use that gold if you don't want to. You can just not even put that in there if you don't want to. I, that's just the way I do it, and that's just kind of my signature way of doing things. See, and I even put a little bit in there while it was still wet, kind of smeared it around so it would look like a shimmer. You know, because a peacock, they look shimmery. Went around a few places with the black, especially in there, so you could di differentiate in the feathers. Okay. This was a very small piece, you know, that piece of my Tiantes paper, however you say that. You know, it was just four by six. And I got, I jumped up and got a mat real quick. I'm going to mat it, see? And I just put as much as the peacock in there as I can, make adjustments, see? That's a black mat, very nice. And if I think, well, I need to come down a little bit, I do that. See, I picked up my colored pencils, and I kind of blended it down to make him blend in a little bit better. 